Master Kahad, the benefactor has been escorted to your tent. Good, good. Yo, Master Kahat, dude. Like, we caught this chick busting through the camp as the train arrived, you dig? I have a meeting, Donovan. This is not a good time. Oh, but honey, most men find I'm a real good time until they cross me. Ah, and who are you, my dear? What brings you to my little commune? Seeking deeper spiritual awakening? Seeking truth in a better way? My name is Little Beaver daughter of Chief Hand on Heart of the Cleveland Tribe. And I'm here to stop your drugs and your war you are trying to start against my people. My dear, you seem to know much. In fact, too much of my business. Donovan? Geneva? Yes, Master, Master Kahat? Kahat? We seem to have had a leak. This square here seems to know much of our business. Has she been seen around the camp before? No, Master Kahat. No one recognizes her. She was sneaking around and got right past the gods. She took out two before the Kami could get on her and disarm her. No one is supposed to know what we do here, and yet she clearly does. Well, like, maybe it was that engine driver, Master Kahat. You know that funky dude that escaped last week. Maybe? I do not like uncertainties, Donovan. The comic wheel is turning, and just as our star begins to ascend, this comet crosses our galactic plane. Sugar, I am a shooting star, and I am foretelling your fall from the sky. My dear, I am sorry to say, even if your people are warned, the U.S. Cavalry will soon be here and are not going to take your little attacks upon them very kindly. Not kindly at all. You mean your attacks? The U.S. Army may not know, but my people know. It matters little. At worst, you are a minor inconvenience. At best, you might be worth quite a few nights' distractions when properly tamed and trained. Honey, a lot of men have tried. None have succeeded yet. Hmm, I do like a challenge. Donovan, take her to the cells and contain her. I need to finish my negotiations with our benefactor. Yes, sir. That has all been arranged per your instructions, Master Kahat. Donna Daisy, what is she thinking? Well, Matt, I thought you wanted her on the inside. Well, I didn't want anyone on the inside, but her idea made sense. She just wasn't supposed to let herself get caught. Knowing that General All, he will want to attack at first light. They are probably on their way already. All right, Diesel Dan. Major, it forces my hand early. Not like I had time to come up with a decent plan anyhow. Major Zumbish, I need you to go back to the horses and ride over to Dot's Mine and meet up with Smokey and Marshal Tucker. They're supposed to find the military train. Explain the situation up here. All right, Sheriff. I am on my way. All right. Good luck to you, Major Sumbish. Speaking of which, I hope that other Sumbish is ready to do his part of this plan. Well, whatever you may think of the mail, Diesel Dan, he is a crafty and clever Sumbish. Plus, his girl is now in there. So let's move forward. I see a shed up ahead. We may have to get in and rescue Daisy sooner than planned. Matt, I don't think Daisy is the kind of girl who needs rescuing. I think you are right there, Dan. So, what's in that shed? Well, we may want to get far away from this spot as possible, Matt. Why? What's in it? Ammo and even some dynamite. Looks old, too. Probably the stuff this Kahat fella's been using. Hang on. Grab a few sticks of that dynamite, Dan. Gives me an idea. Are we going to blow stuff up again, Matt? Most probably, Dan. Also, get a long fuse line if there are any there. Ah, welcome. Welcome, my guest. My dear benefactor, it has been a while. And his political lackey. I'm sorry the red carpet could not be rolled out, but so much is going on. And now this interruption. This delay and extra business has been costing us money. 
The army is on its way, as the benefactor wished. All goes as arranged. Speaking of which, my dear benefactor, I understand you're not happy with some minor changes I've made regarding our deal. No, no, I am not. Why isn't Wilbur Farr dead? And why did you change the attack on his train? It has set my plans back by weeks. Ah, well, I needed Wilbur Farr for other reasons than yours, especially now as our original train driver has escaped. You see, you were not delivering your promises fast enough, so I had to move things along more quickly. I told you when we first met in San Francisco that this would be a slow process. I had to get things into place. This federal rail deal in paradise was a big piece of those plans. But because you did not kill these two and make it look like a train robbery, the meetings were canceled until an investigation could be done. Now U.S. rail marshals are all over these territories. Ah, but you see, Mr. Steamhair, your plans no longer as important as you seem to think they are. What are you babbling about? You see, one advantage of Mr. Farr surviving is that he was able to sell off his portion of the fall to go railroad lines to me. A little legal finagling and I am now a bit of a rail tycoon myself, Mr. Steamhair. You're what? How could you? I did not become a mogul of a drug and business cartel throughout Asia by being a stooge, sir. Your petty plans were tolerated because I needed things from you. So I had to give you what you wanted to get here. But now I am here. So you are no longer needed. What? How dare you? You can't do anything without me. How will you move your product without my rail lines and banking and business connections? Oh, you will be making me a partner in your company, sir. Otherwise, you will not be leaving here alive. You can't threaten me. You wouldn't dare harm me. Harm you, sir? I? You've just entered a war zone of your own creation. Collateral damage, one might say. And with me owning a stake in Fall to Go Railroad, and with access to enough cash for my opium empire, I can slowly buy my way through your company if need be. I would prefer you work for me, as finding someone to replace you and your connections would be very difficult. Difficult, I say, but not impossible. You are making a big mistake, Gahat. You don't know who you are dealing with. That's the Gahat, and I am not dealing with you. I am merely offering you a choice. To live in the comfort and entitlements you have achieved, or to die here and lose it all. No deals. I am through with deals with you. So I am to be your puppet? Ah! The master puppeteer himself does not like finding he has his own strings, does he? Rest assured, oh benefactor, you will not notice your strings much. Your life can be as you have known it. And you may even be wealthier. You just answer to me now. I don't think. No, no you don't. And that was your problem. But come, let us eat and give you time to really think it all through. I am not in a hurry right now, but tomorrow comes, and the war you desired comes with it. Yet, the universe is full of surprises, and when morning has broken, a new era arrives. So let us eat, and I will marvel at this universal surprise, as my evening's entertainment has changed unexpectedly, and I shall amuse myself before the morrow. I seem to be at your mercy, Master Kahat. Ah, yes, indeed. Indeed you are, Mr. Steamhair. For now, you understand, Senator? Understood, sir.